making sure it doesn't jump out. And when you get to the end of the spring in the barrel, continue to wind on the inside of the spring. There's our clock motor. We'll put it in isopropyl alcohol to dissolve any gunk that's in there. Then we'll put it back in and check the movement again. First, I'll brush some of this dust and stuff off it. We'll drop the motor in, swizzle it round a little bit, leave that there for three or four minutes. Right, let's remove the motor from the alcohol, put on this bit of rag, that's turning a bit more freely. Now we'll dry off any excess alcohol that's still in the motor with a hairdryer on low speed. We'll start off by putting the springs back onto the winding arbors, and then wind the spring onto the arbor. Now we'll put a mainspring clamp on the spring to keep it compressed while we're reassembling the movement. Reverse the movement of the spring winder and slowly unwind it. This is the chime side winding arbor. This is the going train winding arbor and this is a strike train winding arbor. This is the snail, this is the rack that sits on the snail. This cam is currently set for the half an hour, the double strikes. When I lift that you'll see the hammers start to move up here. 